I don't know if I'm going to put part one on this, or I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm just going to freaking revert it. I'm just going to remix this whole thing, so at least I have one to release. So, Co not Coca-Cola. Pepsi's behind. Basically thought it was a good idea to take a gut punch right in freaking damn Coca-Cola's face. Yeah, so I got to hear the actual full version of the commercial because previously I heard like a miniature of the version. Just the fact of, oh, there's no one who does better than Pepsi. And then you had the girl, and then the other one, you had a guy. And they were like, oh, oh, well, girl, at least you have, at least you got your bottle in your name. It's like, do I look like a Larry? It's like, seriously? The only reason why you guys are picking on them is because they thought of it first. Not only that, just the fact of, since there's so many, there's so many things out there. So many names out there that they can't really actually supply and demand every single name. So it's like, yeah, stop being considerate, you jerks. And number two, it's like what I said in the other video, it's the fact of just because they have a name, your name on the bottle, doesn't mean that they'll just look for the name because they just want something to drink. And heck, the freaking vendor machine, which that was your fault on your, yeah, that's your fault making that stupid damn commercial, is the fact that she has a freaking damn vending machine she's by. Meaning the vending machine won't allow you to see all the freaking damn Coke bottles that's in there. Instead, it just gives you out randoms. Meaning that there is a freaking damn small chance for her name to even be in the Coke compared to the fact of Maybe her name is Coralia, and then that means that that's not a freaking name in the bottle, which means even more, oh, dang, you don't get to have your name in the bottle. She just wants something to freaking damn drink, and it's like, yeah, for you to just do a gut punch on that, that's kind of like, yeah, that's poorly written. That's really poorly written. So, I'm going to gut punch freaking damn Pepsi. And what I said previously in the other video that most likely I'm not going to release now is the fact of you look at freaking Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, I was kind of a fan of them, but as soon as Vanilla Coke came out, I was a big, huge fan of them. And then they cut Coke, Vanilla Coke out in bottle form. And that means I was forced to buy it in cases. But luckily for me, just this year, a few weeks ago, they started redistributing the vanilla coke in bottle form in my neck of the woods because chances are I bet in New York they never stopped but anyways they finally did it but while they still had vanilla coke around let's look at Pepsi shall we Pepsi I enjoyed Pepsi with lemon it got cut out didn't it it sure did did they keep it in case form no they sure didn't so it's like yeah um at least freaking Coca-Cola still kept vanilla Coke instead of your bastard behinds who are like, oh, well, Pepsi with lemon. It was just a gimmick. We don't have to continue on with that. Yeah, we're not going to continue on with that. We're just going to continue with the original varieties, which I'm like, seriously? Seriously? Yeah, and then here's the thing that about the full actual commercial. The fact that they were like, Oh, well, at least we now, under the cap of our Pepsi, we now actually are able to give you a contest to win free tickets. Well, actually, a free ticket to a concert. And it's like, um, number one, you guys did that before in 2006, 2007. Number two, Coke did the exact same thing with actually putting a code in the cap in a bottle, which means that even if it's not her name in there, at least she has three points under that cap not only that but there's actually sweepstakes on coke rewards which pepsi used to have something like that but they quit because they again thought it was a nice gimmick to have for just one year and yeah i mean like don't talk trash pepsi don't talk trash please don't talk trash but anyways with the coke bottle you have three points and in all the sweepstakes they have you're actually able to log in three chances. Yes, you get three chances, three times to actually enter in that certain sweepstakes to get the certain thing. Maybe you win, maybe you lose. I don't know. Chances are, I bet maybe Coax is actually more worth it because maybe you actually will get to have the ticket. I'm not sure, but all I'm telling you is this, is that even though Coke Rewards has got a little bit dilapidated, they still allow you to actually have something good to get. 
So, Pepsi, with your dissing crap, that's not right, man. I mean, yeah, it was funny when you had Santa Claus being like, oh, well, at Christmas, I go for Coke, but at summertime, I go for Pepsi. It's like, eh, that was kind of funny, but still, it's like, eh, eh. Anyways, bottom line, Pepsi, cut that freaking crap out. Seriously, Coke is reign supreme. And now one thing I got to talk about is basically that previous one where I actually was on your radar. I was actually trying to do stuff with you. Yeah, I forgot. It was maybe a year or two years before you guys were like, oh, we have remixes of Michael Jackson music only, only from us, Pepsi. And I'm like waiting waiting for that commercial where's the commercial that says to do it where's the email that actually says you have one up where is that crap and there's nothing whatsoever all it was was just you saying you had it and the fact that you were kind of saying yes we have limited edition michael jackson yeah bottles but yet i didn't see crap I don't see anything you guys said. You guys are as messed up as freaking damn Sony when they had Spider-Man. Oh. Sorry, I just had to do that. But still, seriously. Seriously, man. Seriously. <sighs> Pepsi, leave freaking damn Coke alone. So they picked something that's an awesome gimmick and you didn't think of it first. Boo hoo, cry about it. But don't go over there and being like, oh, well, at least we can pick on the flaw of doing that gimmick. Yay! And I'm like, mm. oh boy. Oh boy. Well, anyways, I'm done. Thank you for watching. And for anyone who's out there who actually is a Pepsi drinker, well, I technically on both sides of this heck I was more Dr. Pepper than anything until they changed the recipe to 23 flavors previously they did actually have the original flavor taste in the 10 calorie version but sadly it has aspartame and that is not a good one to have <sighs> well anyways I am completely done for anyone who is offended well Pepsi should be offending you more than I am.